The cascading XREL slide kit, as with any linear motion setup, needs to be adjusted properly in order to run optimally. Um, that adjustment, uh, there's a balance in between having um, things too tight and adding too much friction, or too loose and having too much slop. So we want to find a happy medium on this, I'm going to show you a quick way to do that. Um, most of that adjustment comes due to the fact that 632 screws, which is uh, the standard screw size used throughout the Actibotics building system, um, those screws measure a diameter of about 0.136 inches. A number six through hole uh, measures about 0.14 inches. So you've got four thousandths of variance in between the screw and the hole that it goes through. Um, so the, the mini V wheels in this case um, are held on using mini V wheel spacers with that number six through hole that I talked about and then with 632 screws going through those. So if you just attach the V wheel or the mini V wheels um, to the 545361 um, quad hub mount, you, um, there's a, a chance that you'll get those in too tight. And then when you slide the X rail through, you'll feel a lot of friction in between the wheel and the side of the X rail. So all you need to do once you assemble the kit is take a 764 Allen driver and loosen those wheels up just ever so slightly. Uh, so that the, the spacers and hence the mini V wheels can move around a little bit. And then when you tighten them up, put a little pressure back towards the X rail and tighten them down in place. This will assure that they're, they're not too tight. Uh, they've, they've been able to spread out properly, but they're also not too loose and your X rail is not going to just move back and forth uh, in between those freely. So you could do that throughout all three stages to get it to move very nice and freely. And then the other thing you can do uh, on the far side, you've got an acetyl plate that fits down in the groove of the X rail. Now that acetyl plate has a T in the bottom of it uh, in order to locate this far end and keep it from moving around too much. Um, as with the mini V wheels, uh, those are held on with 632 screws going through number six through holes. So you've got that four thousandths uh, worth of slop again. So you can loosen these four screws and wiggle that around a little bit. Make sure the plate's on there nice and square and then tighten those four up once you're happy with the results. Once you get it adjusted, it should be able to slide very nicely back and forth. But there's one last thing you can do is to add a little bit of lubricant uh, down in the channel of the X-Rail. So just one or two drips will do. And then you wanna run, run it back and forth so that the acetyl spreads that out throughout the channel. And it reduces the friction in between the acetyl plate and the bottom groove of the X-Rail.